Hi everyone, my name's Lenny. I'm a science teacher, STEM ambassador, STEAM lead and director of a company called Amaze Lab. And I'm absolutely really, really excited and thrilled to be with you all today. So today we're all going to have a go at making our own lava lamp. And there's so much science, STEM and STEAM behind a lava lamp. So what are you going to need to make your own lava lamp? You are going to need some oil. Now ideally you'd use clear baby oil just to get a much better effect but you can use cooking oil if you don't have any baby oil. You're also going to need some white vinegar, you will need some baking soda, some bicarbonate of soda, you will also need some food colouring, it can be any colour of your choice. You will need a container to put your lava lamp in. Now, I'm going to use my trusted conical flask, but you can use anything. You might want to use a plastic bottle that you would like to recycle. And you're also going to need a small container or glass around that size. Now again, the quantities are going to depend on the size of your container, but that makes a good scientist, doesn't it? A bit of trial and error to the correct amount that we need to use. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take our container. So whichever container you have, like I've said, a small plastic bottle that you would like to reuse and recycle will be just fine. You're then going to take your bicarbonate of soda, your baking powder. So hopefully, with adult permission, you will be able to find some of this in the kitchen cupboard. Now again, it will depend on the size of your container as to how much baking powder you will need. But as a rough estimate, if you can cover the base of your container with baking powder, then the reaction should work really well. So using a spoon, Add carefully the baking powder into the container. Give it a bit of a shake and see if it covers the surface on the bottom. So take your baking powder, add it into your container, give it a bit of a shake and does it cover the bottom of your container? That's the first thing you need to do. We're then going to add our oil. Now, do remember when we're using vinegar, it does get a bit smelly. So again, do make sure that you've got a protective surface down, okay? You can also investigate between oil and vinegar, looking at viscosity and which one is the thickest of the liquids. So I'm going to add my oil into my container. Now again, you want to add enough oil to be able to see the effect of the lava lamp. So I'm going to put mine up to about the 200 mil mark on my container. Now, if you guys can all just leave it to settle, but I'm just going to hold mine up just so you can have a bit of a clearer view. So this is the stage that we're at now. We've got baking powder, bicarbonate soda in the bottom, and I've got my clear baby oil in my container. Do try to leave that on a flat surface, okay? Like I say, do put some protective covering down or try this experiment outside just so we don't get too messy. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our small container and in our small container we are going to add some white vinegar. It will work with brown vinegar, it's just the effect won't be as effective because you won't be able to see the reaction quite as well. So you're going to take your vinegar and you're going to add it to your small container. Again, quantities will depend on what size of container you are using. But again, what an absolutely fantastic investigation you can do at home, looking at quantities of baking powder, quantities of baby oil and quantities of white vinegar for that perfect lava lamp effect. Now into my white vinegar I am going to add a couple of drops of food colouring. I'm going to do mine blue today but it can be any colour that you have at home. In fact you'd be able to make a full rainbow of lava lamps if you so wished. Make sure you've got a clean spoon, I'm then going to stir 
my food colouring into my vinegar. Another investigation that you will be able to look at here is diffusion. How does my food colouring diffuse into my vinegar? If I heated it up, would it diffuse quicker or slower? That's another great investigation that you could all undertake. So I've now got my vinegar and my food colouring well mixed in my small container. Now this is where the magic or rather the science is going to take place. So you're going to have your container here and in this container it contains bicarbonate of soda and oil. Now there's going to be a couple of reactions taking place and a couple of uh, investigations happening in this container here. The first one is our oil and our vinegar are different densities. So when I add my vinegar with my food coloring in, it's going to fall through my baby oil and hit the bottom of the container. When it reaches the bottom of the container, it's going to react with the baking powder, the bicarbonate of soda. And as it reacts with bicarbonate of soda, it's going to release carbon dioxide gas. And that is what is going to give us our lava lamp effect today. So shall we see what it looks like and have a really, really good look. So what you need to do is, you need to really carefully take your small container with your vinegar and your food colouring and keep your container with your baking soda and your baby oil flat. So just be careful pouring this in. Then going to very carefully just pour in, I'm going to pop about half of my solution. And then I'm going to watch really carefully. Wow, look at that. What is happening inside my conical flask? Now you can all keep it really flat and admire your stunning lava lamp. I'm just going to pick mine up and bring it a bit closer to the camera so that you can see what is happening. Look at that absolutely beautiful lava lamp that you have created using science you're using your mass for your quantities, which I say is another investigation. You could also investigate what is the correct size container and shape to make the best lava lamp. Wow, look at that. That is formed by using density and then the chemical reaction between our vinegar and our bicarbonate of soda, our baking powder, to form carbon dioxide gas. It's working really well. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more in just to create a few more for you all to see. Again, you can watch yours really nice and flat. I'm just going to lift mine up again to the camera so that you can get a better look at the lava lamp that I have created. So everyone can enjoy watching their lava lamp and your lava lamp will work until that reaction stops. I hope that everybody thoroughly enjoys creating their own lava lamp, either at school, at home, or with your community group. Have an absolutely brilliant time with your lava lamp investigation, and I will see you again soon. Thanks everybody, bye.